foot blue fit cruise review. This is a 2018 model, but all the same technology is basically inside of it. So this is the bag that it comes with. We're gonna start off with, you see, I've used it quite a bit. It's got all the sparks and bruises. I've had it for quite a while. Not really, but I've got my fair usage out of it. Mainly, you got the backpack here so you can keep it on. You know, your, uh, around your shoulder straps, your hip straps right here. Name tag on top. And then we'll uh, start getting into what's included. So it comes with the front pouch. There's a pump. This is double action pump, which means you pump it up, it blows air in, and you pump it down and blows air in. So it uh, just kind of allows you to pump it up fast for such, such, such a big, big board. Here's the hose that comes with it. Let's get into the contents of the rest. This board comes with a three piece paddle. It has an optional uh, either. Let me put this together real quick. You can do your classic paddleboard paddle with the paddleboard in. It has a snap technology right here that allows you to snap it in, adjust the length. You take this bad boy out, throw it aside. And this is the kayak paddle in. It has the push button press in to snap it in. And of course, snap that on for extra safety, so it's in. Very neat feature since this board comes with the seat. This is uh, the blue fin soft seat that allows you to kind of have the kayak conversion kit, which the kayak conversion kit on this board is the seat and that optional three piece paddle. So next, we're gonna pull the board out. As you see, I've used this board quite a bit, so you can trust what I say, it's got all the marks and bruises. Recently, I took on a 60 mile adventure on my local river. And uh, I've not had a chance to take, I haven't taken a bath yet. As you can see, this thing's 12 foot long. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. If not, please wave. Wave along. You can see it. Can you see it? Its main feature size included is the 1 2 on the front, 12 foot screws. Blue fan we got. We got 4D rings in the front for storage that allows you to put all your camp stuff in or just your water bottle and day packs. So, obviously, you want a dry bag. And at the front right here, you have a GoPro accessory mount where the GoPro snaps in. And the 12 foot board comes with one hand on the front, hand on the rear, and hand on the rim, hand on in the middle. Just for uh, obviously, this, this board is going to fit two people easily with a 410 pound uh, max weight limit. So either you carry it for yourself, you have two people carry it at the same time. Then you have four D-rings in the middle right here. Where the kayak seat snaps in. So I'll go ahead and uh, snap that in real quick uh, without it inflating because it's not really going to make a difference if it's inflated or not. So basically, I get this part very confused. I've done this quite a bit, but I always forget because I haven't remembered exactly how I'm supposed to do it. But I believe the shorter ones go into the rear. So the ones on the bottom going to snap into the rear D-rings. And then the ones on top snap into the front D-rings. Here's a seat, this is what makes it into a kayak. Uh, I personally love this feature, it does great in the water, it has great back support, the seat's very comfortable, especially with me being on it for eight hours at a time, you know, you can't paddleboard all the time, standing up is kind of hard to do constantly, so that's why it's very convenient to have a kayak paddle. So next, we're going to flip it over and look at the fins. Obviously, you got your 
bunch of bluefin logo on the bottom with the stuff. Mine's all scratched up from all, a whole bunch of rocks. And as you can see, we got two small, non-removable fins on the bottom. These are very convenient on their size. Uh, I don't, it doesn't really matter to me that they're not removable because uh, the size kind of makes them hard to break and wear. So they help you track a little better in uh, low water or uh, when the depth isn't that when the depth isn't, isn't that deep. And then you have the snap-on. Uh, I believe this is a uh, eight-inch fin. Don't uh, quote me on that because I forgot to look that up, but it's between six and eight inches. I don't use this this often, but it does help in lakes, and this is where we're at today, so this is, why, this is when this comes in handy because it helps you track better in the water so you don't have to paddle one side, flip to the other side. This, is allow this allows you to paddle on one side with more strokes without having to go to the other side. So if you come close with the camera, this snaps in right here. You come back, flip that up, push that in, and you push that down. Maybe. It's very finicky sometimes. This is what I've had a problem with. That's there. You know what? There we go. It only takes three times. And uh, don't let that scare you because I've never had this thing fall off because that's why you test it to make sure it's on. So, but that's one thing I do have a little bit of complaint about is that thing's kind of not easy to know if it's in right. So it kind of has you worrying about if it's going to fall out while you're riding, if it's going to break or something like that. But as you see, you saw the contents of the board and now I'm going to flip her back over and pump her up and you're going to see how long this thing takes to pump up. So I'm going to go ahead and get on that. Like the board's hard and everything but you go out on the water it's not going to be able to support the weight and if you come here and look at my psi reader it's not reading nothing and that's because a lot of these psi readers aren't able to read that low number because this pump doesn't start reading until five to seven psi same with my body glove board it does not read the low numbers so this board recommends 15 to 18 psi but i always pump up to 15 because that's enough for me here's a test to see if i made sure i put the pin down to this thing somebody one thing people forget to do is have the pin pushed up because if you don't have it pushed up it's gonna let all the air out like that so then you lose all your progress in the last five minutes of pumping you gotta pump it up all over again Fifteen psi. Let's check the timer. See how fast we did that. Seven minutes and seven seconds. Obviously, it doesn't take that long. And I made a mistake of uh, leaving the pin down, but still, definitely work out if you want to get it done quick. If I, didn't, if I forgot, if I remember to put that pin up, I'm out of breath. Can't talk. I remember to put that pen back up. I'm sure I could have got it done in five minutes. A couple more things about this board. I think I said, obviously it's 12 foot and it's six inches in depth. So that just helps with water not getting on board. And at the max length and max width, it's 30 inches of the board. And that sounds like it wouldn't be that stable and, and uh, it'd be hard for a new beginner to get on this board. But with the length of 12 foot, it's quite easy, and the, the depth of six inches definitely helps compared to, uh, comparatively to my body glove dynamo board. It's five inches deep, and the water getting on board definitely makes a little bit of difference. And uh, it's only 10 foot eight. Definitely a lot. It's it's more stable, but with a little bit of extra weight, it's not as stable. This thing can take 410 pounds. Definitely makes it a lot easier. So a couple contents of the bag that I forgot to mention. We have uh, 
uh, crocodile uh, rip deck board. This is the replacement, just in case any of this tears up. And it comes with a repair kit. Normally they're not this color, but I forgot mine in my truck, so we're gonna use this example. This is my body glove dynamo. Same contents, just different colors. You have the valve tightening tool. If you come down here, sometimes you'll hear this valve releasing air. You take this tool, push it in there, and then you turn. This allows it to tighten and it doesn't let the air out. This is very common a thing. So don't worry about your board not being on correct. Other contents that the repair cut would contain is replacement for the board tops. Now the colors along the board. My uh, Dynamo is obviously red and white, and this one would contain blue, and I believe the other color was white as well. And my kit didn't receive this, but this was because of shipment issues of uh, shipping from UK to United States. Bluefin Company is based out of UK. This is glue that you would use, repair, repair adhesive that you press underneath this. This is very important glue. You can't just use super glue or anything like that. It has to be, uh, it's very, uh, it's a type of glue. 30, wait, now, uh, I'll put it somewhere in the video, the type, somewhere over here at the top, what specific type of glue you need for your board to make repairs. I never needed to, so that's why I haven't done a lot of research. Just came with this kit. I haven't had to worry about getting glue yet. So I'm hoping that's gonna be something that it will be able to withstand for the next couple years. I would hate for it to get a hole in it. Also, one more thing it came with that I don't have, it's up in my truck. Is, uh, is all the bluefin stuff comes with a, a phone case to put your water put your phone case in your keys it's all waterproof stuff and i snap mine onto the front d-rings and as far as the board goes this this is it basically i like you guys might have seen on my channel i've taken a lot of venture i plan on taking many more i love this board i, I was able to fit all my gear up front and i actually with this seat up, I snapped more gear onto the back. Obviously, I took uh, some bungee cords and wrapped it around, but what I'm gonna end up doing is buying more D-rings. You can buy these off of Amazon. If you're interested in something like that, I'll put it down in the description. And you can buy these off of Amazon and use that adhesive glue and glue them on. And then you, the bungee, you can also strap on here so you have more storage. That's for to touring type stuff and everything, so obviously you're not gonna need that much storage for an everyday type thing. The only complaint I have with this board is the fin is, uh, I don't like that it's so deep, eight inches, you know, it helps with legs and that sort of stuff. I wish there was an optional shorter fin. I've seen many other brands give out two fins. Uh, another thing would be that it's the release time of the boards are like a month away. And that's not just because I'm in the United States, people in UK can't receive this board until September-ish. You know, today is August 16th or 15th, something like that. 12 foot cruise, the next time you can buy this board is September 26th, I believe so. Just as, uh, you know, obviously we're in the midst of summer, a lot of people want paddle boards to become very popular. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this board out in the water and talk about a couple of other things that you might want to hear. All right, one bad thing about inflatable boards, obviously I love inflatable boards because of the accessibility of being able to basically store them anywhere, you know, and uh, you put them inside your car or like small size trucks without any issues. You know, these 10 foot boards you, are hard to store and hard to transport to places. One thing that I've figured out and noticed is that the inflatable boards have a harder time on lakes where it's windy yet. It has trouble staying in place. As you can see, you know, something like this can easily float away because of the inflatability. So other than that, I love inflatable boards. So I'm gonna go get up on here and uh, we're gonna do a couple different tricks that are really uh, common things that you might see uh, how the board is doing. You know, obviously I'm not doing yoga stuff, you know, I don't know any of that, but we're gonna do pivot turns and then uh, I, I don't know what the name of this is, but you basically just try to lift the front end of the board up. And uh, past that, that's, you just jump in, you know, you have fun with the board, that's what they're meant for. 
But I'm gonna jump up on here and try not to. I'm gonna go in deep water. I'm trying not to hurt myself. So this, when you lean up on the back of the board, a turn. That is what a pivot turn is. Glad well, you turn very quickly. Fall off, you can't be scared of water. <laughs> I wanted to fell off, my my camera person was in the way. <laughs> my apologies. The next, the next trick is gonna be getting on the back of the board and lifting the front end, front of the board up. I'm gonna go ahead and attempt that real quick. The goal of this is just to get the board up the size of the camera without falling off. Seems pretty simple, doesn't it? So on this buffalo board, I got to step back pretty far. At least I didn't fall in completely. I saw how I control. But paddle boards are one of the most best, most fun investments I've ever made. I love water, I love paddle sports, it's a great exercise. Base what the four. Well, I see a lot of people asking, or uh, they have trouble getting, getting on top of the board after they fall off. So basically, once you fall off, you'll be down here. Not a lot of people can have the upper arm strength to lift yourself up. One of the best things you can do Crawl up on the board, you pick your feet up, leg, and then you're on top of the board. So you basically just want to crawl up on the board. It was very windy out here. You basically just crawl up on the board. It's not that hard. I've seen a lot of people ask that question. A lot of uh, people that don't have boards are looking for it. It's you know pretty easy to get back on top after you fall off. You know, part of the adventure is falling off. You're gonna get better at it the more you do it. Can't be scared of the water. I mean, it's just water. What, how's it gonna hurt you falling in? So overall, I've, I've loved this board since I got it. It's obviously kind of a biased review since I've owned this board quite a long time. But I mean, I've told you the things I thought that, that I don't like. And uh, you know, obviously I'd like more storage back here. That's why I'm gonna end up adding it. But other than that, I mean, it's a great board. Definitely recommend the company. And I would recommend anybody getting this board. I'm going to have the link down in the description. And uh, hopefully you guys don't mind this uh, little review. If you don't, go ahead and like the video, subscribe, and uh, get, get some more videos coming soon every Friday.